All right, in this video, we're going to do uh, section 5.6 of Al Grosch's book, Developmental Math 2, Solving Quadratic Equations by Factoring. So the first question is, how do you solve quadratic equations by factoring? And uh, I first want to clarify that there are other ways to solve quadratic equations. You can use quadratic formula. You can use completing the square. Um, but for the purpose of this course, we're going to solve quadratic equations by factoring. Uh, what is a quadratic equation? Uh, the difference between a quadratic equation and a linear equation is the presence of the exponent 2. So a quadratic equation is an equation that one of the terms has a variable with a squared exponent on it. Also, now we're talking about equations and not expressions. And we've done a lot of factoring of expressions, and this side of the equation would be the expression that we could factor. But now by adding an equal sign onto it, We've turned it into an equation, and the whole purpose of an equation is to solve. So we're going to use the factoring that we know, that we learned in previous lessons, to actually solve this equation down to find out what x could equal. So here's a method right here that we're going to use. Um, there's a, there's a, one key element of this method that actually is not even mentioned here that we're going to talk about first off. And that's a product called the zero product property. It's a property that you have to know about to be able to solve quadratic equations by factoring. But the zero product property states that if you have two things being multiplied, if A times B equals zero, then two things have to follow. The only way for two things to be multiplied and equal zero is that one of them has to equal zero or both of them. So A has to equal zero or B has to equal zero or A and B can both be zero because A times B would equal zero. This is a zero product property. And uh, we're going to use this a lot while we're solving quadratic equations. Uh, looking down here, the steps for solving a quadratic equation, and here's a quadratic equation for us to look at. 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 equals 0. The first step, actually, back here, is make sure that the equation is equal to 0. When the equation doesn't equal 0, and we're going to talk about that um, probably in the practice problems, uh, we will subtract any terms that are on this side to make it equal 0. And then we factor the quadratic equation side. So obviously, there's no factoring with the zero side. So this trinomial here, we can factor. And we used the square root method in the previous lectures. But you can use any method that you know. You can use the guess and check or the AC method to go ahead and factor. But when you're done factoring 2x squared plus 5x minus 3, you should have these two factors, 2x minus 1, x plus 3. Now, if you don't know how to get from here to here, you don't know the factoring part. You need to go back to some previous lessons and review factoring because we're not going to do the factoring in detail here. We're, we're focusing on the solving. So here's the factors, 2x minus 1 times x plus 3. And this is where your zero product property comes in. If these two things are being multiplied to equal zero, that means that one of these binomials has to be equal to zero or they could both be zero. So we use that product property, zero product property, to make these two little statements here. If 2x minus 1 times x plus 3 equals 0, that means that 2x minus 1 equals 0, or x plus 3 equals 0. And I can make these two smaller equations then. I call these the little equations. Then the last step is to solve each of those little equations. So here you can see these are linear equations. You just do your opposite operations to get down here to the bottom where x equals 1 half, and this one down here, x equals negative 3. And always checking, there are two answers, x equals 1 half, x equals negative 3. Um, I actually prefer to leave the 1 half as a fraction rather than a decimal, but the author here uh, used 1 half as a decimal. Put it into the original equation, make sure that it comes out equal, put the negative 3 into the original equation, and it also comes out equal. These are both valid solutions for this equation, which is generally what happens with a quadratic equation. So on this page, we have a new equation that we're going to try and solve. We have x squared 
minus 4x minus 12 equals 0. So the first step is to set the quadratic equation equal to 0. Well, it turns out this equation is given to us equal to 0, so we don't have to worry about anything in that step. The next step is to factor. All right, we don't do any factoring with the 0 part. We only factor the quadratic side. So we have x squared minus 4x minus 12. This is a standard trinomial. So we're going to use our trinomial factoring. We still have equals 0 on the side. x squared is x times x. Bring the first sign down. Multiply the signs. So this all comes from previous lessons of learning how to factor a trinomial. We have different signs. We need factors of 12 that subtract to make 4, and that would be 6 and 2. So now we've done the factoring. Once we've done the factoring, we look, okay, so if this times this equals 0, that means that this has to be 0 or this has to equal 0, and we set up our little equations. So we're going to take this first binomial, x minus 6, and the second binomial, x plus 2, and we're going to make small equations equal to 0. Then we solve this equation down. To solve this for x, we're just going to add 6 to both sides. And we learned this in solving equations. And over here, to solve this for x, we're going to subtract 2 from both sides. And those are our two solutions. Down here, checking the solutions, we just substitute 6 in. And we substitute negative 2 in, and those both come out like this. All right, I think we have an example down here. We have 6x squared minus 7x plus 2 equals 0. Solve this by factoring the first step. Make sure it equals 0. So step 1, make sure it equals 0 is done. Step 2 is factor. So we're going to factor this trinomial side. 6x squared minus 7x plus 2. Actually, I'm going to rewrite it here. I still have my equal 0 over there. Uh, what, how are we going to factor this? Because of this 6 here, we would get this 6 off with a GCF if we could, but it's not common. So we're going to use the square root method, which uh, we learned in a previous lesson. So if you don't remember it, go back and review it. The square root method says multiply both sides, the front term and the last term by 6. So 36x squared minus 7x plus 12 square root the first term. So we're going to have 6x times 6x. Bring the first sign down. Multiply the signs so we have same signs. Factors of 12 that add to make 7 would be 3 and 4. Actually, we write the biggest one first. So we should write them as 4 and 3. And the last step is to divide off whatever the GCF is here. And don't forget, these two should multiply to make the 6 you started with. And again, if you don't know this method, you can use the AC method if you know that method, or you can use guess and check. This is just the method that I prefer. So these are my factors. Okay, so we've done step two. Step three is to set up the little equations. And those little equations come from here. If this times this equals 0, then this has to equal 0, this has to equal 0. And I'm hoping I actually have enough room here. So 3x minus 2 equals 0, 2x minus 1 equals 0, and I solve these little equations. First, by adding 2 to both sides, so I have 3x equals 2, and then dividing by 3. So x equals 2 thirds, and then on this side I will add 1 to both sides. So 2x equals 1, and then divide by 2. So my solutions are x equals 2 thirds, comma, 1 half. And it's a list, you guys. It's not an ordered pair. It's a list. So we have another example on this side, this page. 3x times x plus 1 equals 2x plus 2. Well, initially... This doesn't appear to be a quadratic equation because it doesn't have a term that's squared. However, the first step is always make this equal to 0. And in doing that, we're going to have to simplify and get um, clear off this right side here. So we'll start with simplifying. 
let's see, I'm going to rewrite 3x times x plus 1 equals 2x plus 2. We'll first distribute to get rid of these parentheses, and then we see we have 3x squared plus 3x equals 2x plus 2. And there's our squared term coming in. And then we need to um, subtract these two terms off of here so that we have 0, which means we're going to have to subtract them on this side somewhere. So I'm going to line up the like terms. So the negative 2x will go under the 3x here. Um, however, this negative 2 doesn't have a like term on this side. So I'm just going to tack it like that. And that means we'll have 3x squared. 3x minus 2x leaves us with positive 1x. And then we have the negative 2 that didn't have any like terms. So this is our quadratic equation set equal to 0. 3x squared plus x minus 2. Then we're going to factor that equation. So 3x squared plus x minus 2. I'm going to put this equal 0 way over here. And again, the only way to factor this is to either use the square root method that we learned in a previous lesson, or the AC method if you know that, or trial and error if you know that, but um, because of this 3 here, we're going to have to use some other method. So we're going to multiply the first term and the last term by 3. This is the square root method. 9x squared plus x minus 6. Square root the first term, and that gives us 3x times 3x. Bring your signs down, positive, negative. So we're looking for factors of 6 that subtract to make 1. That would be 3 and 2. And then we divide by the GCF, so that would be 3 and 1. And our terms end up being... Our binomials are x plus 1 times 3x minus 2. And this is the factored form of our equation now. Uh, the next step is to set each factor equal to 0. And this is your zero product thing. If this times this equals 0, then this equals 0. This binomial equals 0. So those are our little equations. And those will be x plus 1 equals 0. 3x minus 2 equals 0. And I just use this vertical line to keep these two equations separated. It's not a big deal. And then we're going to solve. So I'm going to write x plus 1 equals 0. I solve this by subtracting 1 from both sides of the equation. So I get x equals negative 1. And this equation is 3x minus 2 equals 0. Add 2 to both sides. You get 3x equals 2. And divide by 3 and we have x equals 2 thirds. You're going to check both solutions by substituting them into the original equation to make sure that they're equal. And I'll leave you guys uh, that step on your own. My solutions are x equals negative 1 and 2 thirds.